Hey guys, this is Clayton, aka Freakazoid. Just uh, here to give you a quick overview of uh, my latest project, which is just a trackball accessory for the uh, iCade. And uh, essentially what it is is uh, just a giant uh, setup for a bowling ball to be used as the trackball uh, as an extension to uh, take over the joystick position. So what I've got here is just a, a mounting position for uh, eight and a half inch a uh, standard size bowling ball uh, set on three casters with uh, the optical mouse as the reader uh, mounted at such a height so that it just barely touches the surface of the ball. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop that on there. Forgive me while I set this down. So, uh, with it in place, everything is nice and, you know, operates just fine. Uh, so on the iCade itself, the modifications are um, simple but straight, simple and straightforward. Um, the thing you'll notice here is Sanwa buttons uh, instead of the old uh, kind of fake hap ones that they had in there. And the reason for that is because the electronics that was put into place. Um, on the back, you've got the uh, power jack and the USB port that's been kind of hacked into place. And this is where uh, the the trackball will attach to. And from there, it's got an internal board uh, created by a guy named Undammed, and it takes the mouse input and op, uh, outputs it to digital uh, output information. And then from there, it's wired to the iCade's board, and that's how it accepts the input. So what we're going to do is we're going to power it up. So what we've got here is just... Uh, and this thing is powered from 5 volt, um, and it doesn't use the battery port anymore. I've actually disconnected that because uh, I can't deal with the lower voltage for USB. So, and then from there, what we're going to do is just attach the uh, USB port. And you'll see down here that everything is nice and hunky-dory. do is turn this back around and uh, the reason for the Sanwa buttons is just because the uh, the old buttons wouldn't allow it to close and fit with everything in there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna boot up the uh, iPad here and I've just got the iCade classic here the uh, the Atari classic and the only thing available on free is a uh, missile command It's got a little free thing. So you can, if you want, use the joystick and then, you know, naturally fire and, you know, whatever. Uh, or, if you want to, you can go ahead and use the truck one. So it's got up, down, left, right. Everything is, you know, translated and works just fine. So it's an either or operation. You can have it disconnected and play normally. Or you can use this and have at it. Works pretty well. So, and uh, that's really it in a nutshell. Um, this will probably end up being shaved down to uh, be put inside of a cab or something. But uh, yeah, that's it. All right, thanks.